Hello, you are very welcome to Watford Institute of Technology. The purpose of this video is first and foremost to introduce you to the range of services and facilities that are on offer to you here at the Institute. We would also like to advise you on the range of student support services that are available to you and how you can make use of them. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to formally welcome you to the Institute. You are starting a new and exciting phase in your life. For many of you, this is the first step towards independence, living away from home and managing your own finances. Firstly, take a bow. You've worked hard to get your choice of course. It is the first step in the development of your future career. What you achieve in college will have a major impact on your future career opportunities and life choices. Education achievement opens a whole world of possibilities and you should strive to achieve your highest potential. Third level education is very different from second level. You now have an opportunity to take responsibility for your career development, set your own goals and drive your personal development. There is a direct correlation between energy and commitment put in and the degree that you receive at the end of your time here. Graduation day is a very proud occasion for staff, students and parents and it makes all the hard work worthwhile. Like all things in life that are worth achieving, there will be times when you will find your course particularly challenging. You may even find the transition between second and third level difficult. I always remember a quote that says that the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, it is not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of determination. Success in academia is all about good time management, setting your own targets and the determination of meeting those targets. I would also like to welcome our mature students. I personally know the determination and commitment required to make a career change and go back to education. You are an important part of our community and the whole community benefits from your participation in the third level. Our academic staff, support staff and administration staff are here to help and support you. They have a real commitment to your development and will make time to meet and discuss any difficulties you may have. We have a great students' union. The student union president, Maeve, and our staff are also here to provide help and support. So the key message is that help and support is available and please seek it out when required. Waterford Institute of Technology is a community. And like all communities, we have a huge range of social and cultural events, which I would encourage you to join and participate in. We have multitude of sports clubs, as well as dynamic music, arts and film community. It's a great way to meet like-minded people, relax and recharge your batteries. Above all, please enjoy your time at the Institute and become an active member of our community, both academically and socially. Thank you. WIT has four main campuses. The Cork Road Campus, the College Street Campus, the Browns Road Campus and the Carriganore Campus, with the Department of Architecture located in the centre of the city, just off the quay. Beginning with the academic services of the Institute, the Office of the Registrar provides a range of admissions, registration and examination services. Reception is located in the atrium of both the Cork Road campus and the College Street campus. The Fees and Grants Inquiry Desk is located in the Tourism and Leisure Building on the Cork Road campus. The Institute is divided into six schools, each with its own school office. Each school has its own staff who can deal with many of your queries with regard to your own particular course. The Waterford Institute has one of the largest library facilities ever built in Ireland and is also one of the most advanced third-level libraries in Europe, accommodating state-of-the-art resources and services. It is very much the Institute's central library with some 1,200 reader spaces and a collection of over 100,000 items. The College Street Library is a smaller branch library and covers in a broad sense humanities subjects, law, art and music. Both libraries offer internet, electronic information and multimedia services, but the main library has state-of-the-art facilities specifically designed for flexible learning. You can use the library just as soon as you get your WIT student card. Please remember that it is essential to have your card with you for access to the library and to borrow books. 
Computer Services is located on the ground floor of the Information Technology Building. Computer Services' main function is the maintenance of the computing equipment here in the Institute. They also deal with setting up accounts, providing web access and maintaining the various computer systems. Any queries you have will be dealt with by contacting a staff member in Computer Services and further information can be found in the Computer Services section of the WIT website and in your student handbook. WIT has many staff employed to support students in many ways. Most of these student services are located in the courtyard at the Cork Road campus and in the AL corridor in the College Street campus. Beginning first with pastoral care, the Institute chaplain is Father David Keating, who works to support the total well-being of students and a sense of care and community on the Institute campuses. The pastoral care service is private and confidential. The chaplain's office is located on the D corridor and students are welcome to call at any time. The institute nurse is Elma Clancy, who works closely with the medical centre and other student support services within the institute. Her responsibilities include primary health care and organising health promotion activities throughout the year. The Student Life and Learning Office can assist students in a variety of ways to complete their course. Some of the supports available to students include financial assistance, help with settling into college life, support for students with disabilities, counselling and health promotion activities. The Student Life and Learning Reception is in the main reception area of the Cork Road campus. Here in WIT, all full-time registered students are members of the Students' Union. The Union is the official representative body for the students both within the College and nationally. The Students' Union provides an accommodation service and also organises social events throughout the year. Campus Services is responsible for running many of the students' services at WIT such as the restaurants and shops, photocopying and secretarial services, and student accommodation. Campus services also coordinate the Institute Student Accommodation Service. The Accommodation Office manages the on-campus accommodation residencies and over 1,500 bed spaces in various locations throughout the city. Students are always welcome to call to the Accommodation Office to discuss any aspect of their accommodation. The Institute's Medical Centre is located in the courtyard of the Cork Road campus. The centre has a full-time nurse and doctors are available every weekday morning. The Medical Centre provides quality, comprehensive healthcare for all students as well as helping students who may need special medical or nursing attention. Students are welcome to drop into the centre for further information and with any queries they may have. WIT has full-time student counsellors who provide a private and confidential service. Students are seen during term time by making an appointment. Of particular interest to European and international students is the International Office, located just off the atrium in the Cork Road campus. The International Office works on matters affecting our many overseas and international students. WIT has many food and beverage outlets. The restaurants in College Street and the Cork Road campus, and smaller units in the Applied Technology Building and in Carriganore. The Dome is the College Bar, which also has a restaurant. The campus shop is located in the Well on the Cork Road campus. Both the Cork Road and College Street campuses have cash dispensers, with a sub-branch of AIB Bank located in the atrium of the Cork Road campus. The College has over 40 clubs and societies, covering a wide range of interests from sports societies to amateur radio and political clubs. 
the clubs and society's office has facilities to help students run their club. An open day in the first few weeks of term will give you an idea of which clubs may appeal to you. This is the Sports and Social Centre. It houses College Hall, the Fitness Centre and the Dome Bar and Lounge. College Hall is equipped for many indoor sports and is also used as a concert hall and conference venue. The WIT Fitness Suite has state-of-the-art fitness equipment, music systems and TVs. You must be a member to avail of these facilities. The Dome Bar and Lounge serves food and beverages. This is a registered club and again you must be a member to avail of its facilities. The WIT Sports Campus is located on the West Campus in Carriganore, just five minutes from the Cork Road Campus. This facility provides state-of-the-art sporting facilities for WIT students. The Sports Campus includes three multi-sport grass pitches, grass training areas and an all-weather pitch that can accommodate a full-size GAA pitch or two soccer pitches. There is also a sports pavilion that includes eight dressing rooms, team meeting rooms and physiotherapy rooms. As a student of Waterford Institute and Technology, I can wholeheartedly recommend that you do engage in all the services that are available to you here. Remember, it's up to you to make the most of your experiences here at WIT and don't ever be afraid to ask questions here as there will always be someone around to help point you in the right direction. If you need any help at WIT, just ask a member of staff or call into Student Life and Learning and we will be happy to help. Hello and welcome to this short video that introduces Moodle to all our new students in WIT. Moodle is an online learning environment which can be used by staff to support and enhance your study in WIT. You can access Moodle on campus and off the campus once you can connect to the internet. Moodle is used in many different ways and you'll probably use it to access lecture notes, links to interesting websites, videos and articles, class assignments, quizzes and to take part in online discussion forums that lecturers may have set up. To log into Moodle, go to the WIT website and click on the Moodle link over here in the top right hand corner. You can also go directly to Moodle by typing moodle.wit.ie into the address bar here. When you get here, type in the same username and password that you use to log into any of the computers in WIT. If you have any difficulty logging in, please contact Computer Services in the Walton IT building, which is beside the Gallery Restaurant on the main campus. When you log into Moodle, you will see the list of modules that you're registered on. Click on any of the module's names to access that module's resources and activities. As stated earlier, this is where you may find class notes, links to websites or videos, specifics of assignments including online submission areas, and group discussion forums amongst others. If you have any queries regarding Moodle, you can contact the WIT eLearning Support Unit at moodle at wit.ie or you can call to our help desk just inside the door of the Luke Wadding Library Building on the main campus. Thank you and happy Moodling! <laughs>